Hey everyone, what's up? This is Thomas with SketchUp Architect. And in this video, I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to create roofs in SketchUp. And if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button below. And remember to click that bell icon so you're notified anytime a new video comes out. All right, let's draw some roofs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my walls. And I'm um, just going to go ahead and bring this up. Oh, let me go ahead and block this piece out here. And I'm going to bring up my walls eight feet. And what I'm going to be using here is Valley Architects uh, Instant Roof Builder. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to Valley Architects, um, their products, man, they have some really great products. Um, they're not paying me anything to say this. I've really used uh, their products all the time and um, their roof plugin I think is one of the best out there if you think there's a better one out there I'd love to see your comments below on what roof builder you would recommend so I just know from my personal experience that um, their, their roof builder just saved me a lot of a lot of pain that I had modeling when I was starting out so so here I have my my walls right for my house so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle well, make sure I'm in a, a block here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a rectangle over my roof here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And let's go ahead and double click this. I want to create this into its own group. And let's go ahead and we'll square this piece off as well. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a pretty simple roof in the beginning. So let's do a hip roof. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click this icon here on the instant roof uh, um, plug in here. And let's go ahead and let's select a, one of their presets. And I'm going to click here so I can pick and choose the style that I want. And one of the cool things about the instant roof uh, from Valley Architects is that you can pretty much customize these how you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on parameters and this is where it lets you modify your roof. So I'm going to just change a couple things. Let's make this a 712 roof and let's go ahead and change the style of Eve that we have and I'm going to go ahead and go with this plum cut soffited and let's change the Eve width. Um, let's just go with a six inch Eve and here you can see right here it shows you um, what it is that you're modifying so um, actually I'm sorry I, I don't want a 6 inch eave I want a 12 inch eave so basically that's my overhang and then uh, at the eave at the gables ask me that let's go ahead and keep that at 6 and and for a hip I'm not even going to have an eave but um, I'm just going to change that because I may do that later and here fascia height let's change this to 6 inches and everything else I'm going to keep pretty much the way it is for now and let's just go ahead and click uh, make roof and just give it a second you see this little icon comes out here gives you some information about your roof and and that's actually a very useful uh, feature here so here it's telling you the roof surface area so if you're actually a builder and you're trying to calculate how many shingles you need well that's based on the square footage of that roof well boom right here uh, Valley Architects is giving you that number so I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and there we go we just built our roof right there so pretty awesome now it doesn't stop there I can actually go a little further and before I do that um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a little something here let's create a custom um, roof style so I'm going to go ahead and go to some of my material like some of my material library that I have here and let's select a uh, just a regular shingle roof here and we're going to click uh, we'll call this shingle roof and I'm going to go ahead and supply that to this area here and it looks like the scale is a little off let's edit that to about 20 uh, maybe not that much let's go trying to figure out the magic number here for this one let's say 10 feet okay that looks about right and I'm going to create another one. I'm just going to show you some different style of roofs that you can create with uh, this plugin. And I'm just going to go ahead and create another material. 
And this time we're gonna do like a barrel tile roof. So let's try, we'll try that. Actually, let's go with, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and use that one. And let's go ahead and make this 12 feet. I may have to make it a little larger, oh, that might work. Okay, and let's call this uh, tile roof. Okay, so I've given those custom names. So now, let's say, okay, now we want this roof to look a little bit more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click on all my uh, roof surfaces here. And now I'm gonna go, go ahead and click on the roof details tab in my plugin. And here again, I can, I can select some presets for the type of roofing that I want to be on top of that. So first, let's just do a normal shingle roof. So that's just for ridge. And here it says shingles. So let's go ahead and click OK on that. And go ahead and close that. And here I'm going to say materials. I want it to go ahead and apply some materials. And I'm going to go ahead and say shingle roof. And for material number two, um, let's leave that with no material for now. And let's see what it does. Let's go ahead and see what other parameters we can modify. So here it's just giving us the, the, the ridge width and shingle thickness and shingle, ex, shingle exposure. And those all look good. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna add is I'm gonna add a gutter. So let's go ahead and add a gutter and let's call it a half round gutter. And here you can see some of the style of gutters you can choose from. And let's go ahead and select that half round. And now let's just click add details. Give it a second. And there we go. So it's actually added uh, our roof shingles with a gutter. And I could change, and it already puts things in groups, which is very nice. And I could change the color of that gutter if I wanted to. And let's go with a darker color for that gutter. And there we go. So we have a very nice looking roof with a gutter in it. Now let's say I wanted to do a, a tile roof. Now, when I was when I was looking for a roof plugin, what was driving me crazy was drawing tile roofs. If you ever tried to model a tile roof, you know what I'm talking about. It's one of the worst things you could do in, in, in SketchUp as far as my my experience. But this plugin makes it very easy. So now let's go again to roof details and let's select another preset. And here we have a couple different style of uh, tile roofs that it has. And let's try just this Mission S style roof. And now I need to go to my textures. I do want it to have a material. And let's see, um, shingle roof. No, I don't want it to be shingle roof. I want to use the tile roof one that I had. Now here's something you want to pay attention to. Number of lines, it says 12. And this is uh, just the number of lines in, in the barrel of the tile. And here you want to make sure this tile faucets or facets kind of matches that. Um, I just seen, uh, I've just been playing around with it and I've seen that that kind of works better. And again, I'm gonna keep a half round gutter and now I'm gonna click add details. And let's give it a second. And right there we have our tile roof. The only thing I don't like is let's change our gutter color here. And I think that's pretty darn awesome that it creates your whole roof so again i found that this plugin for roofs is very easy to use and uh, i haven't found one better if you've if you found one better uh definitely comment below and i'd love to hear uh about some of the, some of the great plugins that you think might be even better than this one so um, now I'm going to show you one more style of roof that we can do with this plugin even though you could do a lot more I'm going to show you another quick tip so let's do that now okay so to draw a, a gable and roof it's a little uh, different so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete my roof that I have here and I'm going to leave this uh, plane that I've drawn here so now what I'm going to do is let me go ahead and hide my wall so you can see what I'm selecting here so what I want to do is I want to select my surface and that uh, line right there which is what I want to become a gable so any any line that you want to be a gable let's say for instance if you wanted this area to be a gable and maybe you know what let's go ahead and draw a line all the way across so let's say I want these two area th these two ends to become a gable and these two ends to become a gable so now I'm going to go back to my uh, make roof command here and I still have it on that same setting that I had and I'm just gonna go ahead and click make 
roof and let's see what it does well there we go let me unhide my walls and there you can see we've created a nice gable and roof and again I could do the same thing I did I could apply those uh, layers to make it a tile or a shingle roof um, you just have lots of options there so um, definitely a lot better than just adding material to your um, flat surface this actually gives it a full 3d um, tile there so very nice and one more thing I'm going to show you is how we can do roofs that are set to different top plate heights so let's do that now okay so for a roof at a different top height what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and delete it again let's delete everything and delete that so what I want to do now is let's say I want this uh, porch here to to be at a higher uh, top plate than the rest of my house so what I'm going to do is first uh, you know what first let's bring my walls up so I'm going to move this let's go ahead and square this off and let's go ahead and raise it up how about um, let's go another four feet up and let's go to clean that a little okay so I'm going to unhide the roof I previously did let's go ahead and hide this so first I'm going to delete this we're going to ignore this part of the roof for that for so basically I'm gonna I'm going to be creating two different roofs here so we have that one and let's, let's go ahead and unhide my walls and I'm going to go ahead and slide this back to where it will intersect my my roof in here and let's say it probably goes back about there and what I want to do is let's see we have that surface and I'm going to create one more surface here let's go ahead and make a group out of it okay so select that roof and let's go ahead and create a hip roof there we go and now let's do another hip roof but the only thing I'm going to do different here is I'm going to select those uh, this line here and let's go ahead and say make roof and let's go ahead and unhide all that and there we go so we've drawn our roof a little bit higher than uh, this other one and if we really wanted to we, we could uh, explode some of this and start cleaning it up inside there uh, just so that the roof is not continuing on over here but um, definitely a huge time saver if you're creating roofs if you're doing models um, it's a real awesome tool I've loved using it I hope you do too and I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip on creating roofs again remember please subscribe to this channel click that subscribe click that bell so you, so you stay notified whenever a new video comes out thanks and I will see you next time and don't forget to check out my website www.sketchuparchitect.com where I have a list of the courses that I provide and uh, on modeling if you want something a little bit more in depth than just this little uh, quick tip that I've showed you check out my full courses that I provide on there on my website Thanks and I'll see you next time.